Hi guys, welcome to my episode where we're going to play with colors, paper, and paint by creating ta -da, the Malaysian hornbill. So this is actually the national bird of the country. And do you know that the hornbill is a very loyal bird? It stays with its family. And they have a very strong neck muscle. Yeah, really interesting. And if you get to visit Malaysia, you have to see them. Yeah, so are you ready for this activity? Let's do this. So these are the materials that we needed to prepare in creating our activity. Okay, so now we have our carton and let's make a circle. We can use a plate or anything that is circular and trace it. And once we finish tracing it, we cut it and paint it whatever way we want. So for this one, I'm using purple and blue. It's just like a beautiful blend. You can use whatever color you like. First things first, we need to draw our hornbill. So let's analyze how it looks like and we can use the basic shapes that we know, just like triangles and circles. So for this one, watch carefully as we use our circle, an oblong, a triangle, a rectangle, and then once we have created the base, the shapes that we needed, we need to trace it and erase the lines inside. Yep, that's a note. But let's transfer it to the real thing, like a small paper or cardboard that we'll be using for our actual hornbill that we'll be putting on the circular thing that we created. Okay, so this is just like an earlier sketch that I did. Again, just like the process that I told you, erase the lines from the inside. And now let's go paint. So I'm using yellow and red. Okay, you can also use crayons or whatever coloring material that you have at home. But now I do have acrylic, so I'm using it. So everything that we needed to paint is done and we're just letting it dry. So are you ready with your scissors and your colored papers? Because we're gonna do our paper cutting to create this embossed leaves. Yeah, so you can touch it, it's embossed. So let's start. To start our paper cutting, we need to know how big our circle is. Yeah. And then we need to fold it accordingly, make it bigger or smaller. Again, depending on how big the plate-like carton that we created. And then we need to fold it lengthwise. And start by cutting from the edge. And you're cutting it just like a letter C. Or like creating a smile. Yep, and that would look like a leaf. And once you're done, we need to cut it just like a letter V. Yeah. Like a V. If you know your alphabets, then you can do this. Yeah. Open it and see if it looks like a leaf. Yeah, okay, it does look like a leaf. Okay. Yep. And you can do different styles. Okay, with this, we're gonna do a longer leaf. Okay, so that's folded lengthwise. Yep. And let's start by cutting at the bottom, just like an allowance for our pop-ups. And we 
for this one. Let's do like one of those squiggly lines. And to create like some designs from the inside, you cut from the middle where the fold is at. So I'm using just like letter V uh, cuts. Yeah. And ta da! Okay, so now you have leaves in different sizes and you can do it with different colors. But this one, going to try with white paper or whatever remaining Oslo paper or cardboard that we have. And there we go. Fold it at the bottom. And you can use your crayon or any coloring material that you have to create some designs. Yeah, there we have it. So we can create like different leaves with different colors. So see? It's like then you can use your imagination and your creativity. Just like simple paper, you can draw using your crayon. And by the way, when it comes to coloring anything for this art project, you can use whatever material that you have at home. As long as it has colors. Yeah? Okay. So once we're done, we're going to put some double-sided tape and place it in our cardboard where we will be putting our bird. So you can also design it whatever way you want. I'm just going to grab a crayon and of course yeah I'm going to put my it cannot be seen so I'm going to put like some branches I want it to be cute so the branches can be as cute as this or even cuter yeah yeah whatever way you want So now our marble is dry, we can cut it. And now we can move to the fun part, which is designing, just adding a little bit of details using a white crayon. Yep. And create the pop-out effect or the embossed effect by using a cardboard or a piece of paper which is sturdy enough or strong enough. Cut it lengthwise and then fold it twice in an outward way yep. and it will look like a table glue it or put the double-sided tape and that's it so everything that we need we haven't already done our paper cuttings and then our bird which we're going to place now in our cardboard place and then for the pop-up or embossed effect. Can you see? Yeah? Mm. It can even move. Yeah. Okay, so let's finish this activity by putting everything down. In placing all the leaves in your artwork, make sure that you place your um, adhesives at the right side of the paper. So when you fold it, put it at the back. Yeah, you can glue it or you can use a uh, double-sided tape. Like for me, I like to use double-sided tape. It's less messy. to the hornbills of Malaysia yeah so after the outbreak perhaps you can visit Malaysia and then see it at the zoos in here yeah it would be a magnificent experience for you to see them in person so there you have it once again I am Karina Hardin and if you want to go far better use your creativity and your imagination until the next episode bye